What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Juggle972 here, and welcome to Chrono Trigger, the PC definitive version. Now, originally, when I first played this, I played this on the Super Nintendo years back, but now, I have decided to take on the PC version as well. The only reason being those because the DS version uh, and this one are very, very, very similar to, and I'm not going to lie, though, the DS... Uh, version took a lot of my uh, summer up to, not to mention all of my free time, because I had so much fun playing it just casually without having to record it, though, but I decided, you know what, why the hell not, you know, give this uh, port a try. Uh, I know originally, though, this uh, port was not favorable because it was missing a lot of features, but now that with everything being patched up, this one's supposedly the, the now the definitive version, so we might as well just go ahead and give this one a try, too, because if you ask me, Chrono Trigger, I can't, you know, not put this over enough. Alrighty. Yes, Chrono is your name. <laughs> and uh, don't mind the keyboards in the back, though. Uh, that's Tango in the back. She's currently working at the moment. Just to get her headset on, too, so she's probably lost in the, in the middle of uh, listening to game prompts. Or some music. Whatever you listen to. Me? Yeah, yeah, whatever you're listening to. Minecraft music. Minecraft music. Okay, <laughs> she's, she's in the middle of listening to Minecraft music, by the way, too, so... Say, and this is Tango's debut on Juggle 972 Plays, mind you, so. I mean. Hello. This is Tango's debut on Juggle 972 Plays. <laughs> Here, give you another shot. <laughs> and you know what? Hang on, let me move this real quick. Ah, uh, no, Mom, I'm not sleeping. God. But this cat is. Too bad, you know, little uh, Chrono never named this cat, too. I wish you could name him. Okay. So excited about the Millennium Fair. Better be... I want you to behave yourself today, Mama. Come on now, let's get out of bed. Out of bed with you. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I wish my cat was that jubilant whenever, when he woke up. Just says, feed me, feed me, feed me. <laughs> yes, our friend Luca. Oh, so you're a new invention in the fair, aren't you? Yes, I am. Run along, man. Be back before dinner. Hey, this sweet kitty. And by the way, you know what you can do? If you go to the fair and you get a bunch of cat food, you can actually get a bunch of cats to just, like, Bombard your house too. I think it's like 20 cats you can have all together. Bye, buddy. I'll see you when I get back from the end of time. Okay. Hang on. I want to see something real quick. I haven't seen the uh, high uh, high definition textures too. Okay, it looks nice though, but I don't like it mainly because you can see the. I don't know, you can really, like, on my screen, I don't know if you can see it though, but you can literally see the edge of the textures. It kind of kills it for me though. I mean, according to the preview over there, it looks, uh. It looks nice though, but you know what? I'm gonna. keep the uh, graphics on original. Now, the text on the other hand though, looks really nice. Ah, to the millennium. Welcome to the Millennial Fair! <laughs> Oof! Ow! Man, you must have hit her pretty hard, though. She fell that far. Hey, man, that's physics for you. Oh, no, you lost your pendants. There you go. Because I'm a gentleman, that's why. Sure, let's walk around. Actually, no idea. That's another thing I also like about this game, uh, like this as well. You can actually type up, you know, 
You can actually type up their names too. Hang on. Hold on a second. Nadia is her name. There we go. It's a little weird though, you don't gotta use the keyboard with that. You get zero with like 10, 50 G's. Eh, nah. Here. Do my good deed of the day. Bring back that little girl's kitty. It's a ginger. It's a ginger cat. You know, a lot of ginger cats are male anyway, so I'm gonna go and assume. Yes, I'm going to assume it's gender, okay? It's a ginger cat. And a lot of ginger cats are males too. Get your kitty back. I am. It is hard as fast as you can. Okay, you know what? Watch this. I'm going to. I am going to hit this as fast as I can too. So I want y'all to watch. All right, ready, set, go. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, <sighs> oh, that vibrating hand of mine does great things, too. Oh, and by the way, in case y'all didn't, didn't know, I am playing this on my Scuff Impact, too. And yes, that's another thing I also like about the, uh, I'm liking about the Steam version, too. I heard that it's got really good uh, controller support, too. Mainly enough for Xbox, though, but Steam does a really good job, you know, with uh, trying to uh, have as much support as you can with controllers. So, I chose my uh, PS4 controller. Alrighty. Let's, uh... Let us go to the... F uh... Oh, she wants candy. I am candy cadet. But candy, candy, candy. And we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and we wait. Do you like one of these? Got candy it is. With the time and courage, our first hyperdimensional transporter, the invention of the century. Simply hop up here. And it'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine was a masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luca. That's who we need is Patrick Warburg and Stavon. Give it a try, get oh, oh it's you, Corona. How you doing? Show up. Okay. That'd be so kind. I most certainly would. Watch what I try out. There we go. Just hop into the left pod. From one pod to another. System activated. Watch I uh, use my hammer to make make sure this thing works. Initiating a transfer. Oh yeah. Hey, it, it works. <laughs> Unbelievable, they never. <clears throat> As I was saying, look has done it again, ladies and gentlemen. A thrilling display of, sci display of science at its best, and obviously I can't read quick enough and pronounce and enunciate, apparently. <laughs> that itchy nose. <sighs> Pick up a cutie like her? Well, I'm same just like I did with my fiance. That's how I did. It's alright, Carmen, isn't it? Swear, don't run off on me. No, no, I'm just gonna completely run off, you know, and let the hot girl get uh, transported into time. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, this little hot is gonna hop on the telepod. Right back. Something to change your mind. No way, I'm not afraid. That's what I like beauty and brains and bravery. The three B's, huh? Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she teleports from the platform. System activated. I'm gonna hit this with my hammer so I can make sure that this keeps rolling. And cue the music. And cue the music. My pendant is. Huh? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, though, but like the 
first time I played through this, though. I did my first playthrough. I didn't even bother to use the Patch Warbird first with the bond. I can just imagine him just going, WHOA! Luca, she's not repairing. Well, well, all right. As you can see, the girls vanish right before your very eyes. The show's over, people. Move along. <clears throat> uh, Luca, what just happened? Where is she? <laughs> I love doing Patrick Warburton's voice. She disappears. She didn't to tell her. But the river period, the way it's reacting. Something else must have caused it. Uh, what we're we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? Yes, we all have seen her before. You know, I think I've seen her before too, and maybe a different playthrough or a different timeline. Oh, you're going after her. <laughs> what a fine young man. I'm sorry, but a fine lad. Seriously. What a fine young man, if you ask me. Well, back to year 600, how about that? Alright, it's just a macrobator. Let me just hit, hit it with the hammer real quick. We can get the fire going. This year. Is the power up with? Roger. Boom, 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 boom. She needs more power. Roger that. There, I think we did it. Alrighty. I'm already liking this port. It's pretty much, you know, on par with the Nintendo DS version. Whoa! They changed that up a little bit. Then again, though, you know, this version's not very much compressed. Very much remastered. I mean, they call this one the Definitive Edition for a reason, I guess, so... Let's see how the battle system works on this. Alrighty. All right, see what we got here. One blue right here. Down. Eh, you just like a kid. You know, for a young man though, why would he keep a sword around? That's one thing I, I never bothered asking myself. Why does Corman keep a sword around if he's still in his teens? I mean, kids nowadays have guns too, so you know. Okay, the frame around this one's a little bit different. I'd say it's kind of down, but a little in, a, in some ways kind of smooth. Then again, though, you know, it's very much you know, like a Super Nintendo port anyway. And there goes another. And uh, one of our ginger cats came through, too. What's going on? Oh, it was? Oh, wow. Even though nobody was there bullying Yeah. Uh, Tago's cat, uh, Spencer, is uh, a bit of a chicken chip, but he's really spoiled. Yeah, I really don't spoil yeah. Well, you know, he's a, well, you know, you gotta remember though, he's a cat that's been alone all this time too. So, well, the majority, the majority of his life, I mean. what they did with the uh, with the clouds on here. I do think it's a little bit too... Eh, I wouldn't say it's much. I wouldn't say it's too much. Hey, buddy. Some sort of simpleton. Even a half witch should know this is land for Guardia. With the Fiend Lord's army day and night fighting to restore the realm's peace. Alright, tell me you knew this much of this. Uh, of course. Then might you show good care and grace to someone? Questions? Okay, motherfucker. Jesus. You know, you, you're just asking questions, though, right? Come on. Like, sorry, you know, knowledge is power. Let's go to the market and buy. You know what? Bad vest and bronze helmet. You know, that'll work. Just a couple more potions and... I'll get some more later. Stock up on shit later. So to Guardian Castle we go. 
Let's see. I really hope that they kept the uh, the shelter glitch in here. No, more than, no, there's not much of a glitch. Let's more than a Alrighty, let's see. Move it down. I think they changed it back to. Could be wrong. I didn't pay too much attention to it whenever I played. Too much, too much uh, attention to most of the names, though. Let's see. Hold on. Drop the shelter. Alrighty. You know what? I think they did keep it. Alrighty. Okay, so I guess they did. Hold on, let me see if they kept it real quick. Let me see if they kept it. Hold on. Gotta try to avoid as many battles as I can. Oh, yes. They kept it. Hell yeah. <laughs> and if you didn't know the shelter trick, if you keep uh, going in and out of Guardian Castle, you just keep going back and just uh, start getting shelters. If, uh, well, number one, you can get shelters you need, though, because they can actually be pretty expensive. But you can just start hoarding them and hoarding them and just start selling And then once you start selling them, you can get a shit ton of money from them, too. Okay. Okay, that was too close for comfort. I wasn't paying too much attention to that, though, but... That's another thing I also like about the, uh... Yeah, let's continue with the story real quick. Also goes there. Not seen any prints before. Those outlines is closed. Would you defeat those agents, would you? Ah, fat chance, look at him. The boys love the Philip Thole. Not born with a sword. Dude, the kid's a teenager and he fucking uses it like a samurai. In year 1000, apparently, you know, uh, kids like him could uh, use uh, swords like a samurai, too. I mean, hopefully, the, kid, the, the young boy is much like a very much a practice of Bushido, too. <laughs> man, to be royalty, to be able to just bark orders like that, though. Man, if only you could be royalty. Be mindful of your place. Especially when it comes to other ports and uh, shit like that too. But I'm not gonna lie though, when it comes to ports, I think Chrono Trigger doesn't need all that many ports to go with it too. Final Fantasy VI though, you know, did a really good job, you know, with uh, having, you know, with having you know high uh, def high definition graphics as well. Looks much prettier though, but I think you know play wise though, Chrono Trigger does still does it better though. I mean, if you get Toriyama, you know, to sit there to, and do you know your character illustrations for it though, I mean, it's the dream project. Why wouldn't it be? Somehow I knew you'd come for me. A woman's intuition. Thank you, Chrono. And... Gee, I don't know. She feels like she's being torn apart. Help! <laughs> I'm sorry. I did that from the side, though. I was supposed to do it from the bottom. <laughs> it looks like she's just posing with them. I mean, she said she felt like she was being ripped apart, though. Thank God she didn't get in, get in the sack with Superman. I killed the hooker. She made a crack about me being faster than a speeding bullet, so I ripped her in half like a phone book. Alright, down we go, and... Look who it is. It's Luca. <sighs> Found the girl, but she was ripped, being ripped apart. This is I thought, then. Recognize her from somewhere. Yeah, it looks a lot older from the guard of the work from. Must have taken that girl for her ancestor. After all, that girl was our Princess Nadia. 
Yes, that's her formal name. I give her a real name, too. Yes, this is Senator Queen Lee. <laughs> that's how she gives birth. <laughs> that's a little bit more realistic. A little bit more. Time that way. It never existed. It would be enough time to save her. Yep, is her kid remaining change? <gasps> uh, time to find the real queen. Lee. Here we go. Yeah, they definitely could have done a better job, you know, with the way the with the uh, scene kind of frames down a little bit. Yeah, let's see what's going on over here. See if they change anything in here. Last line of defense. Oh, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. But now we must head west. And then when we head west, we shall figure out what hath been going on. But first. Okay, she's already got a pen. Okay, you know what? I probably should have brought bought the armor instead. But you know what? The power glove should do better. And we'll keep the sight scope on too, because thankfully the sight scope lets us see how much HP our enemies have. Yep, three HP. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. Hey, you know what? We'll see y'all in the next episode uh, when we head west to the cathedral. Much love and uh, peace. Ooh, love, love.